All right, everyone. Uh, as Paul said, uh, we've Coach Patino with us here and ready to go. Uh, so we'll get right into questions for Coach. As a reminder, please uh, send me a message in the chat uh, if you'd like to ask Coach Patino a question. Uh, with that said, we will start off with Marcus Fuller. Coach, uh, Marcus coming off that 41 point night. Um, you know, he, he got things going in the second half, but the first half, you know, it looks like you needed help from Trey Williams and some other guys to try to get that scoring going. Yeah, Trey played well. You know, 17 points was good. Um, you know, Brandon was really trying to give it a go, but he just couldn't. Um, you know, you, you look at him out there and he's grimacing and he wants to play and, and you know, it just it wasn't good. Um, so we had to get him out. Uh, but, yeah, when, when you're down three starters, you need to have uh, guards put up big numbers, um, and you just weren't able to do that, you know. But uh, there were some bright spots for sure with, with being so, um, you know, undermatched or overmatched, so to speak. Next, we will go to Daniel House. Hey, Richard, you briefly touched on Trey at a crew high 17 tonight. How much potential have you just noticed from him recently? I just thought today was his best game because he played under control. Um, you know, he his shot selection was way better today than I think it's been in the past. Um, he just he played under control. Um, you know, we've really talked a lot about, hey, when you touch it, like something doesn't always have to happen. You know, just getting movement and trusting and believing, um, you know, but I, I thought it was definitely his best game. Regardless of the scoring, the scoring was good, but he only missed six shots, which was really good. Marcus, we'll go right back to you. You know, there's a point there before halftime when they stole the ball and they hit that three. I mean, there's I've seen a play like that happen before, and it, and it just deflates the guys, you know, at, at halftime. How do you bounce back from that? Yeah, I, I've never seen a play like that, by the way. That was the first for me. Um, you know, no, they were fine at halftime. I mean, we, 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 we fought back to cut it to 11, you know, with three starters down. Uh, so they, they didn't quit by any means. John Shipley, uh, over to you for the next question. Richard, did you, you know, I thought your defense was pretty good early. You, it re, you were shooting terribly and you were still in the game. Are you disappointed that, you know, you pull it within 11, maybe if the defense had stayed that good, you, you're in it sooner. The rebounding really hurt us. Um, yeah. We're, we're, we're we're struggling on the perimeter with blockouts. We really, really miss uh, Gabe there. He was very physical at it. You know, Jamal is still learning that. We, we give up some size when we play Jamal and, um, and uh, Marcus together. You know, Booth has really been struggling with his foot, but he was helping us because of his length. When we put him in, that's when we cut it to 11. But I don't know if he can give us a whole lot more than that 17 minutes right now. Uh, but but it was a welcome scene with that length uh, when you have Trey and him kind of on the perimeter with Marcus. Next question will come from Jim Rich. Uh, Coach, when you look at all these losses piling up, how do you keep the confidence in the kids, you know, so they can make this run, you know, that that they need to down the stretch with the one last Big Ten game in the tournament? Or do they understand these injuries really are, are what's feeding them and not themselves, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, we're down three starters, Jim, and our, and our top guard off the bench is hobbled. Um, so I don't know if that's an excuse, but that, that's significant uh, to the team. But they're still battling. They're still coachable. Um, you know, hopefully a couple more days. Maybe Brandon can heal a little bit. Maybe Booth can feel a little bit better. Who knows? Maybe Liam can come back. Uh, I don't think Gabe will, uh, but that, that those are significant injuries. So uh, they're giving us what they got. You know, they really are. Um, I don't. I don't think any team can lose three starters and be as good. John Shipley, uh, back to you for another question. Richard, I'm sorry if I missed this, but I didn't. I was so busy keeping track. I didn't really notice Brandon. Anything happened? Did something happen to him tonight, or did it happen before and he was bothered? Two, two days ago, he sprained his ankle pretty bad at the end of practice. And um, what was hard was we, we gave him some rest. He didn't practice the next few days. We didn't put him through shoot around. Um, he, he's got this ankle that always seems to hurt. Um, and he re-injured it. 
we he told me he wanted to give it a go. We didn't put him through shoot around today. And then, um, you know, I just I didn't like the look of him in the first few minutes of the game. And I got him out and he's like, coach, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. So I try to go back in, you know, to him again. But I just couldn't watch that anymore. He was clearly hurting. And I'm still waiting to receive additional question requests for coach. So if you have any final questions to ask coach Patino, please put them in the chat at this time. I'll just give it a few seconds. And haven't received anything. So coach, thank you very much for your time. That's all we have thank today. You. Thank you. Uh, we'll zoom in just a few moments uh, with players uh, where we'll have Isaiah Enan and Trey Williams. Thank you. All right, Sully, we have Isaiah here first. If you want to spotlight us again, uh, he'll be ready for questions when he takes a seat. Thank you, Paul. Awesome. All right, so as uh, Paul said, we have Isaiah Enan here with us now. Um, we'll get right into questions uh, for Isaiah, so please send me a message in the chat if you'd like to ask a question. And with that said, we will start off with Marcus Fuller. Isaiah, when you looked at the end of the first half there and they made that three pointer. I mean, you know, it's pretty deflating for you guys. You still cut it to 11, but you know, plays like that. And then the injuries, how much does that weigh on you guys mentally? I mean, it is annoying for sure. Uh, we, had, we had a great start to the season. Um, we were hot um, and we really thought we could make a run in the tournament. And then, you know, we get hit with injuries and then we wasn't able to I mean, normally when you get hit with injuries, it's on other guys to step up. You know, that's how it works. I wasn't able to do it in time. So that's why we are on this losing streak. And I mean, at three like that, I, obviously it hurts a lot and it changes momentum, especially going to the second half. But, you know, we just got to you know, keep going. And next, we'll go to John Shipley. Okay. Um, hi. Hey. Um, so you, I thought you had a really nice game. I'm wondering though, on offense, you guys seem to work hard for every shot. Um, you, you just did, you had a couple transition baskets, but everything was tough. Did it, did it feel that way on the court? Uh, for sure. For sure. Um, I mean, the easiest buckets are transition buckets and the only way you get those is by good defense and then uh, defensive rebounding. I'm, I think they had rebounded us by a good amount. Uh, they had 17 offensive rebounds. So, I mean, you know, just got to work harder, got to box out, got to get the board. In. And then if, you, if we do that, then that way that translates into easier baskets, you know, so. Next question will come from Daniel House. Isaiah, you touched on it briefly. Coach said he thought the rebounding really hurt you guys tonight. What do you think was the biggest issue with that? Um, I'd say they just had more urgency. Um, because I mean, they weren't necessarily that much taller than us. Like they played a very small lineup, but um, you know, they crashed the rim hard. We got to do a, a like a better job boxing out. That's the biggest thing, boxing out, and then. Just grabbing the ball. Like it's really simple, to be honest. And if anyone has any final questions uh, for Isaiah, please put them in the chat at this time. Uh, with that said, it looks like we'll go right back to you, Daniel, for another question. Isaiah, Trey had 17 points tonight. How much have you seen his confidence grow over the past couple of games here? I mean, if I'm being honest, like Trey is probably our most confident player. Like he's just brimming with confidence. So. Um, you know, I was like, I, I knew eventually he gonna have games like these. So, um, you know, with him, it's just getting more comfortable. I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a confidence thing with him at all, because he believes in himself 100% at all times. All right, I've not received any additional questions for Isaiah. So with that said, Isaiah, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And everyone will wrap up in just a few moments here with Trey Williams. Thank you. Uh, Trey here. Fantastic. Thank you, Paul. As, as Paul said, we have Trey Williams here uh, for the last player of the night. We'll get right into questions for Trey uh, just as soon as the first question request comes through in the chat. Looks like we will start with Marcus Fuller. 
Trey, when you, you look at this team, obviously, you know, guys might lose confidence a little bit with some losses, but you seem to never lose confidence and you, and you showed that tonight, um, you know, with, with some scoring. Yeah, I mean, you can't never lose confidence in yourself. We put a lot of work in. <clears throat> Plus, I knew I had to be one of the guys to step up. You know, the last few games haven't been really stepping up. Um, so I was just dialed in on trying to help us get a win. Uh, efforts were short, but yeah, confidence is never up for question. So, still waiting for additional questions to roll in uh, for Trey. We'll go to Daniel House uh, for the next one. Trey, coach really thought the rebounding hurt you guys tonight. And he was talking about the perimeter, you guys needing to do better there, especially with Gabe out. What do you think has to happen to fix that? Um, I think the guards need to come back and rebound, um, myself included. You know, we have a tendency to leak out, um, just assuming that our bigs are going to take care of it. And when you play against a team like Penn State, who, you know, they're relentless on the glass, um, they're into playing ugly basketball, you know, into physicality and, you know, they were expecting shots to come off the rim. And, you know, they ended up getting probably 20-plus offensive rebounds because, you know, we're leaking out, uh, relying on our bigs, and, you know, we can't do that. Can't leave them on an island by themselves. So, so that's on us. That's on the guards as well as the bigs. And it's just on us as a whole. we got to be better than that. John Shipley, over to you for the next question. Trey, uh, good game. Uh, I'm wondering... You know, you have the two starters already out and then Johnson's out. Um, do, do you feel like things are just kind of snowballing on you guys? Um, there's only so much. I mean, you got three starters out right now. I mean, yeah, we're facing a lot of adversity, but, you know, Coach P, though, Coach P always tells us, uh, you know, this is an unforgiving league and no one cares. You know, at the end of the day, you got to find a way to get a win. Um, you guys need to step up. Um, everyone on this team is a high major division one player. So, you know, when guys go down, you got to step up and we have to find a way to win no matter what's going on. Um, like I said, our efforts have came short tonight as well as the last two nights. Um, so we just have we just have to be better as a collective unit. Um, making the tough plays and really just focused on getting stops. You know, teams shouldn't be putting up the numbers they're putting up on us. <clears throat> so. I think, uh, yeah, we're we're facing some adversity. Some guys are down, but that's no excuse. You know, nobody nobody cares. Still have to find a way to win. AJ Conan, over to you for the next question. Hey Trey, um, you guys have obviously been on a tough streak right now. You got one more regular season game before the Big Ten tournament. What kind of mentality do you and the team have uh, going into Saturday? <clears throat> Just find a way to turn things around. You know, every team goes through droughts. Every team goes through losing streaks. Um, it's just all about how you bounce back. Um, the response, you know, some people might think we're out of it, but at the end of the day, we're not out of it. You know, we can put together uh, this last one as well as going around in the Big Ten tournament. <clears throat> we have the potential to win the Big Ten tournament. Um, so the focus is, you know, just get back to work and find a way to find our groove again. Um, find our confidence, our swag as a unit. And, um, you know, just going to games confident and knowing that we can win. You know, we can play with anybody in the country. So it's just about getting back to that mindset, um, getting back to our groove. Um, yeah. We haven't received any additional uh, question requests. So if anyone does have any final questions, uh, please put them in the chat at this time. I haven't received any. So, Trey, that's all we have for tonight. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Thank you. Yes, sir. Everyone else, have a great night as well. Thank you for hopping on tonight. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, everyone.